Sixth grade, module three, lesson two, problem set. Number one, express each situation as an integer in the space provided. So that means we're either gonna write it as a positive or negative number based on whether the language in the sentence says that we're going, it's going to be positive or negative. So A says a gain of 56 points in a game. So the key word here is gain. If you're gaining something, you're getting it. So it's gonna be positive 56. You could write plus if you wanted to, but for numbers, like if you were just to write the number five, you wouldn't write positive five, you would just write positive, you would just write the number five. So I'm just gonna leave it as 56. A fee charged of $2. So if someone charges you $2, you're down $2. So you're negative $2. So there you have to put the negative sign. A temperature of 32 degrees below zero. So here we're talking below. So that's negative 32 degrees. A 56 yard loss in a football game. So if you're lost, you're negative. So negative 56. The freezing point of water in degrees Celsius. So the freezing point of water in degrees Celsius is zero. And a $12,500 deposit. So deposit means that you're putting money in your banking account. So your bank account's gaining money. So positive would be 12,500. For problems two through five, use the thermometer to the right. Two says each state sentence is stated incorrectly. Rewrite the sentence to correctly describe each situation. A, the temperature is negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. So we're just writing this so that we can write it correctly. Um, so here, what we don't need, this is repetitive, we don't need below zero because if it's negative, that implies that it's below zero. So I'm just gonna leave it at the temperature is negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. B, the temperature is negative 22 degrees Celsius below zero. So here again, below zero we don't need because it already says negative 22 degrees Celsius. I'm just gonna leave it at the temperature is negative 22 degrees Celsius. Number three, mark the integer on the thermometer that correctly responds to the temperature given. So A says 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna go to our thermometer over here. We're looking for 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So we need to make sure we're on the right side. Here's Fahrenheit. And go to 70 on the Fahrenheit side. So this right here is 70 degrees Fahrenheit and that's A. So there's A. B is 12 degrees Celsius. So we're looking for on the Celsius side this time. And we're looking for 12. So here's 10 and 20. It's broken into five equal pieces, so we're jumping by two. So this right here would be 12 degrees Celsius. So that's B. C, 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So back to the Fahrenheit side over here. 110 is right here. So there's C, and then D is negative four degrees Celsius. So we're going down, here's zero, so there would be negative two, negative four. So negative four degrees Celsius is right there, that's D. Number four, the boiling point of water is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Can this thermometer be used to record the temperature of a boiling pot of water? So if we wanted to record 212 degrees Fahrenheit on this thermometer, could we? If we look at the thermometer, the highest it goes is 120. So if we, we can't label 212 because it would be like all the way up here. We'd need it to go all the way up there, right? So this is gonna be a no because The highest temperature in Fahrenheit on the thermometer.
thermometer is 120 degrees. Number five, Kalin shaded the thermometer to represent a temperature of 20 degrees below zero Celsius as shown in the diagram. Is she correct? Why or why not? If necessary, describe how you would fix Kalin's shading. So she shaded to represent 20 degrees below zero Celsius. So let's see what she shaded. I'm going to use purple. So we're looking for 20 degrees below Celsius in purple. So this is negative 20 in degrees Celsius in purple. So she should have shaded right there. But what she shaded appears to be 20 degrees, negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So she in, did this incorrectly because she shaded the Fahrenheit side instead of the Celsius side. So very important to pay attention to which side and the labels on your thermometer so that you know what the correct temperature is. So let's say she is incorrect. because she shaded negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit instead of negative 20 degrees Celsius. Describe how you would fix Kaylin's shading. So I would fix it by well, what would we do? We would just I would just shade it up 10 more or so to the negative 20 degrees Celsius. Let's see, about, up about, let's see, it was at about like 32 or 31, let's say about 10 degrees. to negative 20 degrees Celsius.